What up, though, YouTube world? Starts with Payvix. Episode 8, I believe. Episode 7 or 8. 8, I think it's 8. But what up, though? Everybody, how y'all doing, man? You know, um, I'm here every Friday. That's the thing. That's the dedication. It's to be here every Friday. Uh, just saying what up, though. Um, you know what I mean? Positive vibes, good vibes only all the time, every day. You know what I mean? We, we grateful around here. We thankful around here. We, uh, we keeping it moving. But, um, if you can't reach me here, make sure you hit me up on all my socials, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, at Pavix Music. Um, it's probably easier to get in touch with me there because... I do these videos, but I don't really be like, you know what I'm saying, chiming in like that. But uh, as a follow-up, if you watched the last video, um, I told y'all about my car accident, uh, but I'm doing a lot better. My neck mobility, good. I, uh, I woke up one day and... I've been doing a lot of therapy. I got I, I was using the heating pads and like I had a lot of people praying for me and stuff. And like one day, like I, I was just stretching and like moving around and then I heard that pop, it crack. <laughs> that shit felt so good. Oh my God. But I'm back. You know what I'm saying? So um I actually almost lost my hearing because of the the accident. I gotta Google some stuff. Um in relationship to, I mean, I know it was a loud noise because of the accident, but I, I literally had a ringing in my ears for like two weeks. Like, if you ever did a hearing test, like, they'll do a little beep, 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 loud, louder, short, quieter, quieter, and then it's like real low. Like real low, beep. but it was like that constantly in the back of my, like, oh my God, it was like the noise floor. You know what I mean? If you know anything about audio, the noise floor, it was like the, the little hiss stuck. It was stuck in my head for forever. And I was just, I was real scared for a minute, but even that cleared up. Like I was, I was really thinking about my music career, and I was thinking about like all this other crazy stuff, and um, that cleared up, and I'm excited, man. So I'm back. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Now, like I did in the middle of me ranting on my last episode too. I was a. Uh, I was supposed to tell y'all the quote that my mom always told me to keep me focused. Um, and I couldn't think of it because I was in the middle of ranting and I lost my thought. But it came to me. Um, the quote is, and she hit me with all kinds of quotes. She's very smart, uh, very uh, Bible oriented and all of that good stuff. But uh, the quote, one of them, is if you take care of yourself, you actually taking care of everybody. If you take care of yourself, you're taking care of everybody. She always used to say that. And uh, that's just one of them that stuck with me. And it's the realest shit ever because um, honestly, it's a full-time job just working on yourself, working on myself. It's a full-time job. Um, and that includes everything that, that goes along with just living in general, you know, uh, but that, you know, that's something that, that y'all could understand. Obviously, I don't, I don't think my listeners are that stupid, but yeah, if you take care of yourself, you take care of everybody. Cause, um, that's real shit, man. That's real shit. People be so busy, like worried about everybody else and, 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 everything else and and that that's part of taking care of yourself is worrying about other people but 
in a sense, you don't run yourself crazy in the in the middle of all that. But that's that's a whole another episode, a whole another like subject topic um or something. But man, um I don't even know if I got enough energy for this next topic, man. Like, I mean, is the name of the game fame? Is like fame the 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 name of the game? Is that what like the end result is? You know what I mean? Because it's 2023 and people chase clout. Clout is just anything that'll build your name up, you know. People, uh, a lot of people in the the light of Hollywood say things like all publicity is good publicity. Um, any promotion is good promotion, but it's really not, though, because it's a lot of um, underlining issues that get people to say that type of stuff and, and do that type of stuff. So. Uh, I'm just trying to figure it all out because um, it's a lot involved. Like, I also said in my last video about how, like, I've been cutting people off lately. And that's not, I'm not trying to be dissing people and stuff. And I'm always, like I said, willing to talk to people. But you just got to come correct, man. Like, you can't be so emotional when you're trying to figure out what's going on. Like, you can't be mad already off of something and then try and be quick with your time and not be respectful and just all this other stuff that's important to me. Like, I mean, me personally, I will never ever forget what people have done for me. So, you know, um, back when I don't have anything, when I didn't have anything, um, the people who were there naturally, you know, um, I was here before a lot of stuff became the trends and you know, the popularity votes and all of that stuff. I, I've never been, I was popular in my time, in the day, in high school, whatever you want to call it. I've always been popular. I've been popular since third grade. Like, I've always been talented. I don't care what the situation was. I always knew how to draw. I knew how to make people laugh. I knew how to, I was always talented. I always had the popular vote. Um, But... I never been the one to take that and you know what I mean, use it in the wrong light. So I might be getting off subject, but um I'll never forget what people did for me. And if you don't change too much or if you don't forget who I am, we won't fall out. It's just that simple. Like, I don't care how big you get. Like, if I knew you from a freaking toddler or whatever it may be, if I knew, uh, if we knew each other, you know what I mean? I'm going to always hold that to you because as my name grows, you know what I mean? And let's just say yours doesn't. I'll never forget we was in the trenches together. When I look you in your eyes, I'm going to see you. And I hope you see me. I don't care if I got on Gucci. I don't care if I got uh, a million people around me who you don't know or uh, whatever it may be. That interaction, you're going to know who you're talking to. And it's like the come up it's so, it's so much involved in it, man, because like, it's just a constant story. Every hood, every 
city, every town, every state, all over the world, it's the same damn song. Like, it's the same song. Somebody is coming up and their best friend fall off. Like, and their best friend, and they forget about their best friend. Or uh, their best friend is trying to snake them. Or, like, they make movies about this. Everybody knows that in the end, the person who sets you up is the person that's closest to you. It's in the Bible. It's, I mean, this is just the story. <laughs> and it's like, it's so crazy because, like, I recognize this at a young age. You hear it in the music. You see it in the movies. You read it in the Bible. You watch the interaction, small, medium, large. You see the snakeness. And me, with my loyalty in terms of who I'm seen with, the shit's forever with me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't just, okay, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to put it, but I know that, um, it's a lot of emotions involved, um, when money comes into play and when people build their name up and, and things like that. And, Let me see. So, like, the name, the importance behind the name has to be respected, and you got to protect your brand, right? So, a person coming up, and they get a brand, they get a name, pay Vix Music, that is something that I can handle on my own. Now, in terms of friendship and business, that really don't mix. Emotions and business don't mix. Uh, friendships and business don't mix. Emotions and business don't mix. Almost family and business don't mix. Um, because of that emotional attachment, people not looking at your brand. They're looking at the friendship. They're not looking at your brand. They're looking at a family member. They're not looking at your brand. They're looking at, you know what I mean, uh, the dude from up the block. Now, it's that median that everyone needs to find um, when dealing with these situations because, um, you know, me personally, I'll hire you. <laughs> like, yeah, we cool. That means you got the job because I know what you're good at. I know what you capable of. I know your your ins and outs. I know your, your talents, your weaknesses, your strengths. Um, But when you do bad at that job, that's when you'll get fired. But I'll never fire you as a friend because that's what got us there. Um. But people will have a, a issue with you way before you get popping. They'll have an issue with you, um, you know what I mean, in the trenches. And then they'll wait till you get popping and then mix that in with you acting different or, or mix that in with your money that you made. Uh, and none of that shit mix. I mean, I know people change. Uh, and I know you people got to got to got to uh, protect their family and, and things that's important to them there because I'm not there and you not there during every single interaction. But it's like you got to know that the game is made for us to split. It's made for us to not get along with money. Money is the root of all evil. So you got to notice going into any business deal whenever you with your homie from from way back and y'all get it popping together three four five y'all six y'all all ten of y'all get it popping you gotta know at the end of this somebody not go understand this is meant to to fuck us up you got to be able to have those conversations. Hey, win, lose, or draw, I don't want to lose you. Win, lose, or draw, you got to be able to look me, look me in my face 
and be like, I always got you, bro. No bullshit. Like, no matter what, no women, no money, no, no, uh, loan, no freaking lawyer, no nothing. Don't snitch on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't talk shit about me. Don't change. Like, you gotta be that person that, that knows this shit. I felt like I always knew that shit. And, um, I don't, I don't do a lot of, uh, kissing ass and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I mean, it just, it's just something to think about because if you cut off the people who you was in the trenches with, who else you go trust? If that's what you go do to people who literally was with you and respected you and loved you for who you was when y'all didn't have nothing together and you go throw them out the window, what you going to do when, like, like, because now who you going to trust? You go go out into the industry with your talents and stuff and hopefully they carry you forever. But now you got to trust people who are playing your friend. You don't really know them. And they after your money and your emotions. Like, they already about to fuck you over. They're, they're number one thing is to fuck you over. Like, if you're throwing your friends away and like, oh, excuse me, but like, I don't know, man. Like, I, I just look at it different, man. I feel like it's possible without the breakup. I feel like the, the win can be done without the drama, without the emotions. Things might get confusing. Things definitely might become more non-accessible. Like what used to be a, oh, let me call him. Let me hit my, let me hit his line. Boom. You got me. It might be two or three phone calls. It might be uh, a day or two missed. It might be, um, you know, situations involved where you don't got direct contact, but you got to know that the friendship always going to be there, the, 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 you know, the level of respect. And it's, it's really how you don't get hurt is the expectations. I never, you know, you can't expect somebody to always do something for you. And the person who, who has made it or is making it don't owe nobody nothing. And I feel like they get the big head, you know what I mean? And, they be like, the moment the little guy shows some type of resentment to not being able to get in contact with the big guy, the big guy with the big head is just like, oh, man, fuck him. Fuck her. Like, they just, they hating. Like, people are so immature and, and life moves so quick. You know what I mean? It could be one interaction, two interactions. People want to... Um, you know, delete you forever. Uh, people want to sh- see who's harder, who who can withstand a bigger punch, or but it's really not like that. We need to take care of each other. Each uh, other, you know. What I mean, especially people who who had that time, putting all that time in. But um, the person who is making the name has more responsibility. Um, they're responsible to be mature enough to extend that olive branch to the person who might be confused. Yo, Joe Schmo, you got to understand now, I'm, I'm trying to get this accomplished. I want you to understand this, 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 and this. I want you to understand, like, lay the business platform out. You always go be my dude, though. Always. Like, but... This is coming into play. You got to understand this, yada, yada, yada. So you could you could be a part of that, no doubt, you know, but it's a maturity thing. We could grow together. You know what I mean? You got to be willing to grow. If if they not cool with what you got going on, shit go, shit go, go left always. And 
I'm okay with that, man. Like, because I know, I understand. Look, look how I'm talking. Like, I understand the business. I understand the how it's supposed to go in Hollywood or in any type of clout, uh, public eye, whatever it may be. So you just got to have that uh, that mindset um, because it's going to happen. I don't care if it's your own brother. I don't care if it's your own mom. I don't care who it is. Somebody going to be mad at you um, for doing what you got to do, but you got to be mature enough to explain to them and you got to want it enough to explain to them and you got to let them know uh hey i see i see things is moving up real fast but don't ever think that you can't get in contact with me don't don't ever think you know what i mean uh we ain't there no more but i never been one for dick riding i never been one for clout chasing i never been one for click hopping um i just want people to know um if you stay with your original crew and you 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 pick out the weak links and uh you go be all right in the end um but keep doing y'all man i'm gonna get off here because i could talk forever but can't knock the hustle y'all do what y'all gotta do um and i'm out i'm gonna catch up with y'all next friday man i'm getting mad <laughs> oh man all right peace